Yo guys, what's up? So as you can see here, the trackpad and keyboard are not working on my laptop, so I've been using an external keyboard and an external mouse to use the computer for a good while now. And I've looked online, and it looks like replacing the keyboard cable in trackpad cable too, I guess, uh, fixes the issue. So uh, those are the parts there. So I'll get an unboxing going here. Oh, it's a screwdriver. So now just turn off the computer and unplug everything. And flip it over and like unscrew all the screws. Oh, and by the way, uh, you're going to want to make sure to unplug the battery first thing before you start unplugging the trackpad cable. I didn't do that here, but I didn't damage my computer. Uh, I didn't really care that much, you know. It's just a computer. What could possibly go wrong, right? And I figure, since the cable was, like, already intermittently working anyways, it wouldn't matter if I disconnected it while it's running anyways. But I did turn it off, so... So you're gonna need a T5 Torx driver to uh, unscrew this little cover holding on the trackpad cable to the logic board. You can start peeling off this old uh, cable-y thing. And I'll open up the new cable. So something annoying is the old cable was creased to fit in, and I think this is what led to the death of the cable because it uh, probably fatigued the metal. So I'm going to have to do that to the new cable because if it isn't creased like that, it is too long. So yeah, it's creased. So I'll just start popping that in, you know. So as you can see, the cable is just a little bit too long, so that means I'm going to have to fold it to make it fit, and that'll probably make the cable last less time before it dies again. And now I'll just start putting it back together. If I can freaking get this screw on. God damn, this takes a long time. So as you can see, it has been fixed, and um, you may notice that I made some typos. Well, it's too late to change those, so thanks for watching. I will uh, see you later.